Okay, in this video I'm going to like explain how to find the equation of tangent or equation of normal in the differentiation chapter. Alright, basically this video is for from 4 MX. I think it's chapter 9 for form 4. It's about differentiation. Because even I explained in so many videos like how to find the equation of tangent or equation of normal, still a lot of students couldn't get the idea how to find the equation. So in this video I'm going to like make it simple and yeah maybe I provide some so-called step to find the equation. Yes. So I think if for those students who cannot understand about what is the meaning for equation of tangent or even equation of normal, maybe you can just follow the step and then you can you can easily get the equation. Right, but then I will I will still encourage you to like really understand uh, what is what is the meaning behind it? All right, so it's very simple. If you follow my step here, this is a step to find the equation of tangent. First step, you just do the dy dx. No matter what equation you have, you just differentiate it. Second step, you just substitute the coordinates into dy dx. So normally the question will say, uh, find the equation of tangent at point A. So you just substitute the x values of point A into dy dx. Remember here I say x value only because the coordinate you always have x and y, isn't it? So you just choose the x value, substitute into dy dx. Alright, and then the third step. Alright, the third step is after you substitute the value into dy dx, you got certain number for dy dx. So in the third step, what you need to do is you substitute the coordinate, which is the point A I mentioned just now, and dy dx into this equation. Okay, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So basically, you substitute into this equation for a point and a gradient. dy dx means gradient. Okay, so you have to understand dy dx means m here. Because we know when we differentiate y, actually we can get the gradient of the curve. Right, so, so if you're still very confused, just remember the answer for dy dx means the the number you got for dy dx is, is m. It's the same meaning with so m. Right. So, I'm going to like show you how this thing is going to work by giving you some of the examples. Alright, so we try something simple one first. Alright, let's say I have the equation look like this. Uh, okay, I have the question look like this. Alright, so you will see a curve here. And the question will tell you that, yeah, find, find the equation of the tangent at A. Okay, when, when it means tangent, so I'm trying to sketch out the diagram, give you some idea about tangent. Tangent means this line actually touched the curve at one point, which is point A. So this line, we call it tangent. Alright, so basically here he asks you find the equation of the tangent at A. So find the equation of tangent means actually the question want to find the equation for this straight line. Right, so this straight line actually they call it tangent line. Right, so this straight line is so called tangent. Yeah, because a lot of students just cannot understand what is the meaning for equation of tangent. Equation of tangent means they want to find the equation for this straight line. Alright, so if you want to find the equation of tangent at A, so definitely give me the coordinate A is negative 3 and 12. I know negative 3 is the x value and 12 is the y value. Right? And then he I have an equation, I have an equation over there is y equals to x squared plus 7. Right, so I just follow the step here. Okay, step 1, I do dy dx. I have the y over there, isn't it? So I'm going to do the dy dx. Right, so my y will equal to x squared plus 7. So I do dy dx first. I actually have got 2x. Alright, I done the first step, dy dx. Alright, the second step, substitute the coordinate into dy dx. So this straight line actually passing through one coordinate, which is coordinate A. Then you start to struggle. Should should you should I substitute actually this value uh, negative 3 or 12? So here I mentioned only the x value. So x value for A will be negative 3. So I say when x equals to negative 3, my dy dx will be 
2, negative 3, which is negative 6. Alright, if over here you got negative 6, I say dy dx in this chapter means the gradient, m. Okay, dy dx is the gradient. Okay, but then dy dx is the gradient for the whole curve. When you got dy dx equal to negative 6, means the gradient at point A is negative 6. Right, only at negative 6. But because for the curve, the gradient is keep on changing, uh, depend what coordinate you are looking for. Okay, the gradient is keep on changing. Alright, so, okay, so after we done this step, substitute the coordinate into dy dx, we substitute already. When x equals negative 3, we substitute into this coordinate. Then we go into the third step. He says substitute the coordinates, which is point A, and dy dx, which is negative 6, into this formula. Alright, so I'm going to write down that formula. So, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. Alright, then I substitute the coordinates. Okay, I got the coordinate over here, which is point A is negative 3 and 12. And then I got the gradient, which is negative 6. Do you see that? So I'm going to substitute the coordinates and the gradient into this equation. So over here, my coordinates over here, I'm going to call negative 3 as a x1. I'm going to call the 12 as a y1. Okay, gradient is just a gradient. Alright, so you roughly get the idea where should I substitute it. So y minus y1, so I'm going to write y. I'm going to substitute 12 into here, minus 12. My m will be negative 6. I'm going to substitute negative 3 into x1. x minus negative 3. Alright, then I just solve this equation. y minus 12 equals to negative 6x. This is plus 3, isn't it? Plus 3 minus 6 will be minus 80. So y just equal to negative 6x. Minus 12, move to the right, plus 12, or minus 6. Alright, so this one is the equation of tangent. So basically, it's quite simple. So what you need to do is follow the step. First step, you do dy dx. You see dy dx. Second step, substitute the coordinates into dy dx. Mean you, this tangent line definitely will pass by one coordinate. Okay, so you just substitute the coordinate x value, which is negative 3, into dy dx. You got negative 6. Then the third step is, you substitute what, uh, the coordinates and the gradient into this formula. Remember, coordinate you only substitute into x1 and y1. Alright, we never substitute for x and y. Alright, then m you just substitute here and then you solve it, change into y equals to ms plus c. This one is the equation of tangent. Alright, but some question actually they ask for equation of normal. So what you need to do for normal is almost the same. Okay, let's say I say step to find the equation of normal. Okay, normal means what? Normal means you have a line which is perpendicular to tangent. Let's say this one will be the normal. Means you have a line which is perpendicular to tangent. So I'm going to like draw out this line. It's 90 degrees to tangent line. Do you see that? They are 90 degrees to tangent line, so we call it normal. Alright, let me just like make it easier, easier for you to see. Okay, this will be 90 degree to tangent line. This line, we call it normal line. Alright, if you want to find the equation of normal, the step is still the same. Just over here, I add, okay, maybe you have to add another step, which I call it 2B maybe which is, use the formula m1 multiple m2 equals to negative 1. Then you will got the new gradient, I call it m2. Okay, you will got a new gradient which is, yeah, the m2 equal to negative 1 over m1. Yes, then only you substitute into here. So basically, it's the same thing. If the question want to find equation of normal, so first step is, you do dy dx. Second step is, you substitute the coordinate into dy dx. Third step is, after you got the answer, let's say here is 2, like 2 multiple m2 equal to negative 1. So m2 is just equals to negative 1 over 2. Then after that, you will got the new gradient. 
you substitute the gradient and the point into this formula. So it's the same thing. So, okay, let me try doing this using this formula and maybe this diagram. Okay, so you will see what will happen if I want to find the equation of normal over here. Okay, if I want to find the equation of normal over here, so the first step is what? First step just now I say is dy dx. So I'm going to differentiate dy dx. So basically I, I did it here. dy dx equals to 2x, which is this one. Then I substitute the coordinate x value into dy dx, which is the same. When x equals to negative 3, then I substitute into dy dx, my dy dx will equal to negative 6. Then, what is the next step? After you substitute the coordinate into dy dx, the next step is use this formula. Because this formula is for perpendicular, right? So I'm going to do negative 6 multiple m2 equals to negative 1. So my, the second gradient for normal will be negative 1 over negative 6. The gradient for normal will be 1 over 6. Alright, then only I substitute 1 over 6 and the coordinate a into this equation. So, what's my coordinate a again? It will be negative 3 and 12, right? Then, I just solve it. I will got y minus 12 equals to 1 over 6. x minus negative 3. Then I just solve this one as usual. So, y minus 12 equals to 1 over 6 x. This is plus 3, right? So, it will be plus 3 over 6. So basically, y will equal to 1 over 6x plus, uh, plus 12, plus 12, 12, 72, 75 over 6. Done. This one will be the equation for this line. Alright. Basically, it's not like really hard for this one, but you have to understand uh, some basic concept over here. For example, the, gra the gradient for tangent Let's say the gradient of tangent in this case is the gradient is negative 6. So normal will be just 1 over 6. Because negative 6 multiple 1 over 6, I got negative 1. So means that their relationship is perpendicular. Alright, so yes, over here you must really understand about what is the pattern of tangent and what is the pattern of normal and what is the meaning of it. Alright, because sometimes exam question is just like come out from the equation of normal. So maybe in order to make you understand better, I just like randomly give another example. Okay, just to make sure you at least you got some idea. Okay, let's say this is the equation of tangent. Okay, now I want to find the equation of tangent. So what should I do first? First step is whatever equation I have. I dy dx. So yeah, I just show you the step again. First step is just dy dx. So yes, I got this one right. So y equals to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. So I do dy dx. Yes, so I will got 6x squared minus 6x. Alright, then I substitute the x value into here. So my x value over here means because this tangent line pass by b right my x value will be 2 so which is 6 2 square minus 6 2 which is 24 minus 12 i got 12 all right so i got the gradient i got the coordinate i substitute into the formula y minus y1 50 equals to 12 m which is this one x minus x1 2 so therefore, y minus 15 equals to 12x minus 24. So y will equal to 12x plus 24 uh, plus 15 will be minus 9. Done. Alright, this is equation of tangent. So even today you do not have the diagram. Let's say the diagram is like covered already. You have no diagram today. And then it asks you to find the equation of tangent, it just gives you this equation, and then you say pass by the coordinates, maybe uh, pass by the coordinate 250. Okay, so let's say I give you this equation, and then I say you will pass by a coordinate which is 250.
Then I ask you to find the equation of tangent. You do the same. All right, first step, you, you don't need to think so much. You just dy dx it. You, you will just got this one. And then you pass by this coordinate, right? Substitute 2 into the dy dx. Okay, second step. Okay, after that, you got a gradient in value and you got a coordinate substitute into this formula. y minus 15 equals to 12x minus 2 because just substitute 15 into y1 and 2 into the y2 and 12 into the m. Alright, so let's say today, okay, I want to find the equation of normal and yeah, just imagine I have this diagram and it asks me to find the equation of normal at B. So, how, how to find? So, first thing is, yeah, you have to understand it. Okay, so I'm going to do something like find the equation of normal. Find the equation of normal. So, it will be very simple. First step, I will do dy dx. And then I substitute the x. First and second step is still the same with tangent. So dy dx substitute the x value into here. So over here, my dy, dx will got 12. Based on this example, I got 12 over here. All right, then I must do another step, which is, I say, m1 multiple m2 equals to negative 1. So my gradient of normal, which is m2, will equals to negative 1 over 12. Then third step the same. I substitute into the formula y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So I will got y minus 15 equals to negative 1 over 2x plus 2 over 12, which is 1 over 6. So y will equals to negative 1 over 12x plus 15. 15 6 is 90, so plus 91 over 6. Done. This one will be the equation of normal. Right, if you want to know the pattern of equation of normal, it's very simple. It will be perpendicular to this tangent line and pass by the point B. So basically, you will see the pattern like this. You will have a line will pass by point B and perpendicular to the tangent line. This one is called normal line. Normal line. Alright, so I hope this video gives you some basic understanding about what is tangent and normal. Actually, it's almost the same. You just follow the step, then you can easily get it correct. So the step is just so simple. First step is you do dy dx. No matter you have the diagram or do not have the diagram, it doesn't matter. Just dy dx. After that, you substitute x value into dy dx. After that, okay, if you want to find tan a tangent, just ignore this step. This step is for normal. Then you go to step 3, substitute your coordinate and your gradient, which is, which is dy dx, into this formula, y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. I hope the step here actually do help you. So in, in case today you want to find the equation of normal, so you just add one more step here. Step 1 and step 2 is still the same. dy dx, substitute x value into dy dx, just add another step here. m1, m2 equal to negative 1 because we know they are perpendicular to each other. All right, then only you substitute your m2 into the m here. All right, the y1 and y2 is still the same. So, but you must be careful, you must get the correct coordinates because sometimes if the point doesn't, if the straight line, mean the tangent line or normal line doesn't pass through that coordinate, you cannot substitute into that. All right, I hope this video gives you some basic idea how to find equation of tangent and equation of normal. And I really hope this step actually do help you. Thanks for watching.